What's going on YouTube? It's OK Ball, and I'm back with episode 6 of our two-handed mace build. To start today's episode off, I want to run straight over to the Plague Village and grab our Cleansing Chalice. And then after that, we're going to knock out two contracts, the Proselyte and the Undead contracts here in Bryn, and that'll bring the episode to a close. So before we get started on that craziness, let's drop some of our gold to the ground. Looks like I can actually merge these. Merge. And merge. There we go. We have about 600 gold on us. Also drop Velmir's ring. Grab some food. And then we'll be all set and ready to go. Okay. <laughs> Guess I didn't need much in the way of food. I do at least want to grab something else. That's all raw meat. I guess I can just grab up these. These should be fine. There we go. Fill up our canteen, and then we'll head over to the Plague Village. And I'll meet you guys there. Alright, finally made it to the Plague Village here. Uh, we're gonna enter into this uh, house first. So grab the uh, tools kit. Nightstand, it's gonna be empty. We need the rope. That's gonna be the most important thing. Wardrobe. Garbage. Go ahead and loot this corpse. <laughs> Nothing in it. Come on. What about this corpse over here? Anything? Anything good? Please, maybe? A lot of times you can't really find anything of value here. But now that we have the rope, we can interact with the well. It'll use the rope and now we can climb on down. Gonna move to about right there. All right, here it is, the cleansing chalice. And we'll loot this corpse. It only has uh, some lockpicks in it. That's OK. Head out. All right, y'all, we went ahead and looted this house in the house down here. All we managed to come out with was a spool of thread and a rabbit pelt. So now it's time to head back to Bryn so we can start knocking out these contracts. All right, y'all, we're finally back in town. Go ahead and talk to Randall. Go ahead and sell, sell, sell the earrings. Um, Potion of Satiation will keep that on us for right now. But we do need to get some healing supplies. So talking to this guy here. Probably going to grab up a bunch of healing set. A couple of these. Another splint. Two herbal extracts. Sell that because we <laughs> can't do anything with it. Uh, one antitoxin because I would like to use probably, not this one, the Potion of Energy uh, for the next dungeon. We're also going to grab up a trap and a net um, to make sure that we live through this dungeon here. Now, I know I have one of these um, located in Manshire, but we're going to bring one with us. We're just going to buy it. Good deal. I think we're all set. Let's go back over here, talk to Burn. All right, John, I think we're now ready to head up there. Uh, we have two claw traps, two nets. Uh, we have potatoes and mushrooms for the energy restoration. Uh, vivifying Essence, we have a smoke bomb, just in case. A traveling cave, a vivifying essence, and another potion of energy. Talk to old Burn here. Dusted catacombs, deal. Let's head on up. It looks like it's gonna be right up there. Perfect. Let's go. Alright y'all, we just arrived at the cathedral. The only objective here is just to kill the cult leader. Don't have to find any items. Uh, now, this is a Bryn Tier 3. We're here a little bit early, uh, level 8. A couple er levels earlier than I normally would do this. We usually wait until after the troll fight, but uh, as long as we take our time, I think we'll be all right. We'll head south first. Okay, our first enemy. Let's see if we can't hide behind the wall here. Um, number 5. Wait for it. Let's do a little wind-up. See what happens. Good job. And he's bleeding. Wind up again. Seize the initiative. Big ol' crit. Let's go. Um. He spit at us. Wind up. Knock back. GG. And he's dazed. Fantastic. Walk back towards the entrance and heal up because there's a question mark down there. I thought I also saw 
Yep, there's a question mark right there. Good hits. Everything's on cooldown for him. So let's wind up again. Now he's dazed. Wind up again. Now we're going to block stuff. Alright, well. 17% come to me. Dead. Take a look around here. So it looks like a rat took off a trap. Or set off a trap. We have a uh, library. There's a trap right there. Okay, another bad guy. Do that. Wind up. Good hit. Wind up. Oh, okay. Fair enough. How are you still alive? <laughs> well, he's dead. Let's go uh, down here and uh, clear out the question mark. Get my energy back. Let's find out what we're working with. Oh, hello. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, so uh, I'm anticipating a net throw, but we'll see. If not, we'll wind up. Oh, good deal, good deal, good deal. First hit, put everything on cooldown. Let's wind up again. Nice, he threw a net. He's injured, staggered. He's gonna be able to hit us from there, so... Yep, brace. Skip a turn. He's got another move. Made us bleed with that. Didn't hit us that hard. Nice. He can hit us at range again. But he missed. Let me heal myself again. He's gonna come forward. Oh, you're still uh, 3%. Now you're finally dead. Well, we gained another throwing net. I've got five. What does this one have? Eight. Well, let me go ahead and heal my chest yet again. And uh, heal up. Oh my god, my backpack's still on. I'm gonna take the backpack off and put my uh, cape on. That should help us a little bit. It's a trap. Is that a dead end? Yeah. Let's head back over this room. Hey, is there anybody here? Yeah, that room's gonna be empty. Okay, open the door up. Got a basement level. A trap. Let's just clear this room out. See what we're working with. Got a rat. Nobody else. All right, good deal. Let's say, why does that guy not see me? But he does now. <sighs> Just getting those wind ups going. Why are they still alive? Get my energy back before we head downstairs. Okay. Downstairs we go. See what we're working with here. Have a question mark. Okay, it's one of those dudes. Well, another enemy found us. I don't know from where. There's a rat right there, okay. Why is that guy so far away? He's gonna... We're gonna alert everybody. Yeah, there's another question mark coming. I don't know what it is. Let's fall back. Wait for it. Wind up. Nice. 
He's dead. Fantastic. Three hits. We're hungry. The bat. And a spitter. I don't know if the spitter's coming to me. Looks like there's another question mark down there. Okay, that's not too bad. Come to me. Easy initiative. Oh boy. Afraid of that. All right, good deal, good deal, good deal. Let's fall back just in case there's more enemies here. Okay, this room looks empty. Let's uh, cover this side now. Okay. Let me let me post up right here. Get wrecked. Nice. That turned out pretty good. Now I don't want anybody else to show up this party because I don't know how much noise those boomers make. So we'll hide behind this shelf. Yeah, there's a trap there. What else is down here? Okay. Nothing else. And... Is there anybody up here? Okay. So far, so good. Behind this door, we do have a chosen. Uh, hello? Alright, so uh, wind up. Hopefully we uh, daze them. Stagger them, stun them, whatever. Nice. GG. We'll go straight across next. Hello. Let's post up right here. Good hit. Nice. Oh, even better. Use days for twice. Oh, let's go. Kept him uh, dazed the entire time. Uh, all I need is my energy back. Can't get any better than that. Before we head to this next room, though, we got to check down south. Make sure there's nobody in here. Another one of them? Well, if all goes well. GG. And he's dead. Okay, nobody else. One more room, maybe? Possibly? We'll see. Check this room out next. It's gonna be empty. So this is gonna be a high chance to be a, the boss room or at least really, really close to it. We've done so, we've done good so far to keep the bodies away. There is somebody behind this door. Okay, you come to me, please. I don't know why I killed that thing there. Uh, if we have like a worm bear, I need to go away a little bit. I can get him to go right here. That'd be the perfect position. 
Wait for it. Wind up. Did not do what it was supposed to do. He staggered. Oh, we counterattacked. Seize. He's dead. Fantastic. Let me close this door. There's one more enemy in there. Get our energy back. Come to me by yourself. There we go. Same idea. Post up right here. Actually, it won't work because he has that dash and maneuver. GG. Close the door again. We're optimistic. Let me rest up. Double check our inventory. Go ahead and merge the water over. We have a smoke bomb just in case. We have potion of energy. A vivifying essence. A net claw trap. See what this uh see what we can do here. <laughs> Alright, open it up. What are we working with? It's gonna be the uh the flame bear. Or the whatever you wanna call him. He's by himself too, even better. Um we just gotta manipulate him somehow. Let me see if I can't get him to step into a trap right there. Let's go. Oh, that works out in my favor. And then he does this. Oh my god, can we get him to do it again? Get that energy. Pain. Oh, crap, intoxication. He's got 60% HP left. Um, thirst. I gotta use it. Let's, um, what, what's next? Is he going to use his, uh, fiery embers or whatever the heck it is called? He's going to use one of these abilities. I got to restack. No worries. Seize the initiative. Let's go ahead and throw this on him. Good job. He's got 13% HP left. 4%, he's dead! Let's go. We, uh... Yeah, not too bad. Not too shabby. I forgot to eat my food every single time I forget something. Good thing we didn't need it. Or what kind of loot can we expect from here? I left my gold, uh, gold outside, unfortunately. Let me go grab my backpack. And then we'll finish looting. I'll do that right now. All right, so I went outside, grabbed my backpack. Went ahead and stored a couple items in there already. Dropped all the healing supplies. Now we can finish the exploring this place. Let's take a look at the cupboard. Oh, that's a wardrobe. Uh, Magic Mastery 2. Read that, take it. Nothing else down there. The little library. Let's see if we can get anything good. A vivifying essence. Uh, bookcase empty, empty. Ooh, Pyro 1. Uh, another bookcase with just a spool of thread. I have to I have to drop things off outside. <laughs> I don't have enough room. Yeah, this one just had a little bit of gold and a healing salve. And the cupboard's empty. Oh, there's still an enemy down here. I don't have any healing items or traps. Uh, we'll risk it. Hopefully we're going to be fine. Uh, flea war, just in case. Let's 
This might be a bad idea. Let's see what it is. It's a no for me, dog. I I can't do that unless I have my bandages on me. Yeah, let's uh <laughs> let's go back out. So I got a couple bandages, but uh no. <laughs> Okay, this should be a little bit better. What the hell? Is he gonna walk through the door too? Yep, sure is. Hmm. Still worked. Alright, he did the thing. Now we got to bandage up. Seventeen percent. There we go. Woo. So we bugged the door. Oh, before I go any further, God, I'm not I'm not paying attention right now. Let me at least rest up. There we go. Another bat and one of those little liquor boys. Hello? A rat. Completely wrong order, but whatever. Okay, it's just one of these guys? Not bad. Ooh, good crit. Nicely done. Wardrobe's empty. Now this should be the final room. I shouldn't have to worry about uh, bad guys anymore. Did I drop my coin purse on the ground yet again? God, I'm so dumb. Monk staff, altar bell. I think that's a reinforced staff. Uh, shelves can be empty. Wardrobe with an ornate mirror. Another wardrobe here it's gonna be empty. Another wardrobe. This one's got a cleansing scroll. I don't need that. What about this shelf? Garbage. Flea wart. Cupboard, maybe? Something? Ooh, Warfare 4? Read that. We're going to take that sucker. Heck yes. Then we have uh, a folio and an ID scroll. Read the folio. Use the ID scroll on the staff. It's going to be a cursed staff with life drain and crit efficiency and spell energy cost. I, mean, I could do without the spell energy cost, but life drain? If we were like a battle mage, bro. That'd be sick. I'd use that to almost dang near an end game. Uh, we have a casket there. Another ID scroll, which we don't need to use. We'll take it just in case we find something. All right, finally, the last library. Ooh, Electro 4. Give me that money. Hourglass. Xbox case is empty. Uh, an enchanting scroll. I don't have anything to use it on yet, so we'll just take it along. Bookcase with an ID scroll. Still no use for it. Last bookshelf is going to be empty. Let's take a look at the map real quick. Leather bracers is the only thing left behind. Don't have enough room for it, which is odd. Um. Mm -mm. ID scrolls, leather bracers. There we go. My backpack. I guess I did have enough room, so whatever. We'll grab the ID with the move them over to the backpack. Grab the ID scroll, and now we can head out. Uh, so, like I said, I'm gonna make a couple trips. It's gonna take a couple trips to just to get all this loot. So I'll meet y'all back in town. All right, y'all, we just finished bringing all that loot back. I did drop it off. I haven't sold it yet. I want to, what I want to do is uh, do the next contract and kind of sell it all at once. Uh, I think that would be a little bit easier on me. But let's go ahead and turn this contract in. Festive Catacombs, 850. Next one's going to be Hero's Fate, and it's a four star or four skull. Oh, boy. <laughs> you don't normally see that. Okay.
Um, <laughs> I think we should go pre-clear it. Maybe go over there, see if it's spawning tier four enemies. Um, and if it isn't, okay, well, we would have just wasted our time pre-clearing. But before we do all that craziness, I got to restock on my healing supplies. So I'm going to work on that next. All right, next stop will be the potions vendor. I would like to pick up a spider blood flask for the caustic damage to use it against the hero's fate boss. And yeah. All right, so we're now fully rested. Got water, got our cleansing chalice, two, oh, let me throw that away. Uh, two nets and two claw traps. We also have the cape, the potatoes and mushrooms again, healing salve. I got one vivifying. I'll make that two actually. I got two vivifying essences. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to find out where it's located, though. I'm assuming here nine times out of ten, it's located right here. Otherwise, it will be in this direction. So I'm going to first head over here. And if I get lucky, I get lucky. And if we don't, no worries. We'll come back to town. We'll rest up and we'll uh, s search out to the northwest instead. All right. Looks like we did get lucky. The withered tomb is located right here. Super scared. I mean, the good news is we didn't accept the contract. So um, best case scenario, it's not as hard as it's been made out to be. Worst case is we dip and go back to Manshire. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, the first room's kind of small. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Drop, drop, drop. Put the healing cloak back on. And uh, let's do the best we can here. Okay, he's not so bad. Come to me. We can handle this guy. Wind it up. Um, we need more armor damage, apparently. Oh, we leveled. Another point of perception gives a little bit more crit chance. The next point, uh, we should be able to get... Oh, right, we get this at level 10. Okay. We got the armored combat. Maybe do the setup so we can get uh, less damage and more accuracy every single time we use Mighty Swing. At that point, every single Mighty Swing means that we will have 100% accuracy like we currently do. Okay, I don't really know what's going on here. Why do I have 100% accuracy? <laughs> oh, right, because we got hit by the enemy. That makes sense. Well, jeez. I guess I didn't need to go into perception because the accuracy is not really something I need. Okay. Um, a, bit, a, little, a little more thinking here. Then there's this one. I, I, buddy of mine told me this is really, really good. Problem is, do I want to use it right now? Don't need this one just yet. Well, negative 10 ability costs. It's something. Opportune moment would be nice too for the criticals and the counters. Restore my energy a little bit more. I mean, negative 30 damage reduction though. Oh, oh, oh. oh, let's do it. Let's do the setup. The bat should see us. Just to make sure that it actually stacks together. Where is damage reduction? Yep, it works. It's stacked. Nice. I want to go south, but I'm worried that it might be also the boss room. So let's just hold off on that for right now. The zombie's going to come to us. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nice.
he's dead. We just gotta get our energy back. So far, this isn't as scary as we uh, anticipated. Okay, wait for him to come to us. He's fully leveled up, though. Oh, shoot. Nice. Dying's good. Okay, there's two floors. Let's head down. That's a regular zombie. We have a ghast. Ah, oh, yeah, we got this. Number five. There we go. Rest up, get energy back. I'm just worried about all the question marks. Bat, come to me. Another bat. Hey, little bat boy. Okay, it's just a skelly boy. Hello? This guy. They notice you and then they just want to run back so they can uh, aggro their buddies. Wait for it, wait for it, do the thing. That sucks. Everything's on cooldown, though. Now we can do this. There we go. Oh, he still got us with it. 48% on his, uh... Just wind it up. Oh, nice. 13%. Looking at his armor, by the way. If you're wondering why the, uh, the, the... His HP wasn't matching up with what I was saying. Oh, water. Alright, he's gonna come to- ooh, somebody set off a trap. As long as they stay over there while we're messing around here. Yes, this is the perfect place. Gonna wind up. GG. Good job. Disenchanting scrolls what he dropped. Energy again. This guy over here is still confused. Oh, that's not too bad. Kind of figured it would be a skeleton because he wasn't taking any damage. Ah, oh, man. Nice. Twenty-eight percent. Made us bleed, though. Okay, nothing to the south, so that's good. Can't get ambushed. Wait for it. Good news is, this isn't going to be the boss room, because there's got to be a way to get around. Archer, we have to go. Nice. We're out of mana. 
Okay, good deal, good deal. That life drain is really needed. Pick this chest. Not bad. Wind up. Let's wind up here. Wind up again. Good job. Again, we took damage. Find out what we're working with behind this door. Made us bleed. Let me take care of that bleed. Bleeding again? Oof. Close that door. This could be a boss. Pain is up. Go ahead and use. I don't want to check this out. If it's a boss, that's going to be a problem. We'll definitely want to come back here a little later. Like I said, this is a pre-clear. We don't even have the contract accepted just yet. Oh, hello. Nice. Ooh, heck yes. We need more armor damage. Uh, if we can get a mace with more armor damage, right now it's 50%. It seems kind of high, but it's not doing as much damage. Um, that and more overall weapon damage would be lovely. Rest up again. Now we have an archer to contend with. What are we working with? Three stacks. Alrighty then. Get the energy back. Hungry again. All right, we're gonna wait for him to come to us. You can't hit me from there. Let's go. This is just a zombie. Oh, I slid done. Uh, what I'm going to do next, uh, since this dungeon wasn't as scary as the four skulls made it out to be, we're going to go back to town. I'm going to loot everything I can and head back to town, pick up some more healing supplies, drop the traps off outside so we can carry more back with us. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to exploring this stuff here, looting and everything. Ooh, ooh, an unidentified ring? Hey, it's the same one I got. It's not cursed. God dang it. Golden earrings. What about this chest? I didn't loot this either. Right. Rabbit pelt. Another chest to loot. We have a lance. Not bad. Grab the gold. Drop this too. All right, y'all. We just went to town and back. I uh, restocked our healing supplies. What I would like to do. I've also brought an ID scroll so we can figure out what this is going to be. Uh, maximum health. Move resistance control. Uh, we got some food with us. Just one roasted drumstick. Need to pick up the nets again. Uh, probably drop a couple of healing supplies. Maybe one of these. Maybe the alcohol. What are the throwing net? Throwing net right there. Claw trap. And reorganize it again. Almost left the last claw trap on. Uh, drop this. Grab the healing uh, cloak. There we go. 
we should be fine enough with what we have. So let's go ahead and head inside. All right, y'all, we're back in that basement. It's right above the room that I assume is the boss. There's only like one question mark inside. So let's take a quick look in here. It is. I have an idea. Use the trap here. Fall back. Fall back. Use the trap right here. He steps in. We are two tiles away. A row. Please, please reach. Nice. He's stuck in place for another turn, so I'm going to fall back. He's losing armor durability. He's still stuck in place, which is good. He stepped in another next one. Again, confused and immobilized. Uh, down to 70% and 63. Good stuff to see. I'm gonna hide like right in this corner. Let's inspect it. One more turn of confusion. So we're gonna go here. Wait, wait, wait. Pop that. Wait. I did nothing. He did counter it. Oh, we put him on a uh, cooldowns. Hell yeah. Let's go. He's just dazed. He can't do anything. Let's do another attack. Oh my god, let's go. We forced it. We forced it. Two turns on that. Um, I have two options. Let's net him first. And then we're going on to uh, do number six. I'm gonna wind up. Let's go. 3%. Basic attack. Let's go. Flipping easy. Uh, I always feel like we, we make it seem easier than it actually is. Because <laughs> I know damn well it's uh, it's not usually that simple. But uh, when, you, when everything goes correctly and you put these traps down and you net them appropriately. Um, hell yeah. <sighs> scary, scary stuff though. Uh, this will be a multiple trip dungeon. Uh, we have to get a, take our traps and our nets back to town. Okay, so what did he do to us? Go ahead and apply a healing salve. Get our energy back. Number five, just in case there's a ghost. There it. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I think that's pretty decent. All right, gonna wind up. Hmm. I'm gonna step back. Wind up. Oh, that's a big hit. Seize the initiative. 27% left. What? Just died. 14%. Jesus. Wow. And a blue. He almost killed me. Absolutely ridiculous. Ghost was harder than the boss. Uh, please. No more ghost. Okay. Nice. Good loot. So what do we have? So we do have an ID scroll. Unholy and energy. It's not a bad ring. Let's go in through this door here. Number five. Open up. Oh, easy. Freaking GG. Get that energy back. And a ghoul. Nice. He's dead. Wait for it. Wind it up. I missed. Nice. Did make us bleed there. Next room. Okay, let's get the ghoul to come to us. Wait for it, wait for it, wind it up. Let's seize first. Is 
zombies are dead. Yeah, he dead dead. Since there's a an archer over here, let's just roll up on him. And we're easily done. Okay. This should be the final room down here. Two skelly boys. Ouch. Mother trucker. He's, uh, injured. Ah, dang. So strong. Out of mana. Come on, armor damage. Do a little bit better job than that. In this chest? Oh, we already have a war maul. I think we're gonna switch that war maul off. It doesn't really seem to be doing as much armor damage as I would like. Try to get something with higher damage. Alright, back on the first floor. Go ahead and enter behind this door here. Yeah, absolutely. Just go forward. Just gotta destroy him. There we go. Oof. Okay. Chest has something in it, I'm sure. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's drop those for right now. We gas and a skeleton. Well, let me try this out. Wait, wait. Is that another ghast? Eh. Tried. How are you still alive? Oh, probably because of the gas and the and the regens. That's a mid-tier one. Yeah, it is. Shit. That's not good. We need to dip. I'm leaving. I gotta I gotta get out of here. We're gonna be in so much pain right now, it's ridiculous. Wow, how how often can you use that? That is absolutely ridiculous. Broken. I'm in severe pain right now. I should be using this. What am I doing? What was I thinking, chat? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. We're no longer in severe pain. But I definitely screwed up there. God, I gotta start focusing up. It is late in the evening, so. Alright, well, we're fully rested. Seize the initiative. All right, we've dinged, let's go. Um, I think we're going into strength now. All right, our next ability point is finally gonna go be into Skull Crusher. Performs a charge towards the target and delivers a strike to its head with 64% stun chance, 41% body part damage, affected by mighty swing and grants the strike 75% stagger and 75% immobilization chance. Freaking GG. Let's uh, find out where that ghast went. There he is. 
All right, let's keep this in mind. We do have the cleansing chalice. He's at full health right now. Pop the cleansing chalice. That's better. Now we're using our freaking noggin. Actually, wait for two turns. Wait. Seven. Ooh, good job. He's stuck in place or what? His head is destroyed. GG. This room's got a bat. Just don't know what else. Oh, easy. Okay. Wait for it. Mind up. Seven. Wow. Wow. Holy crits, Batman. Jeez. Louise. Check inside the chest. A levy bow. Ooh, dragon fruit. Go ahead and eat that. Take all the coins. We have another chest. Not bad. Another room with a couple of enemies inside. Oh, that's a rat. Wait for him to come to us. Okay. Oh my god, these guys again. Jeez. Alright. Start off with the first guy. Staggered. He made us bleed. We have one more bandage left. Why are they so strong? I don't get it. Nice. Made me bleed. You're almost dead, dude. Please. One percent. Just die. Wow. Sometimes it's like, do I do I fix the bleed? Do I do the bandit? I'm all about healing stuff. Um, wow. There's still a lot left of this dungeon. I might have to go all the way back to town. Okay, this room's finally empty. I think we have one more little section left. If we look at the map. Two sections left, and there's like four question marks in here. Oh, that's gonna be terrifying. We'll save that one for last. If there's anything in there, if it's just like a bunch of enemies, I'm running. All right, I just went downstairs and looted a couple items. I saw this rag, which will help me stop the bleeding. So we went ahead and grabbed that. Wish me luck behind this door. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Even better. Let's go. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, shoot. Uh, do the drink and drink. Merge my water over, and we're going to be out of water here soon. <sighs> Terrifying. I guess we'll have to loot that later. Oh, that's terrifying. That is absolutely terrifying. Oh, maybe not so much. Hmm, interesting. While you're almost dead, I also can't really stop you. It's fine. Let's get out of here. I ain't even worried about it. Let's go. No, it's fine. It's fine. If there's anything else in there, I'm not even worried about it. Uh, we do have two healing salves out here, though. Part of me says, just go for it. The other part says, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just over it. 
This is uh, dragging on for way too long anyway. Uh, vivifying Essence. Um, we did get some upgrades in there. I still have my backpack lying on the ground. Um, two mages. I really don't feel like messing with that. That's just, it's just too much. Uh, I'm probably going to dig up these graves and uh, we'll see what's going on. I'll meet you all back in town though, unless we find something good inside. All right, y'all, we're now back in town. Let's go ahead and turn this contract in. Hero's fate. The hell do you mean 264? God, did I never accept the contract? Oh God, that sucks. This is what happens when you uh, make videos in two separate days. You tend to forget. I mean, we're still ahead of the ball game, though, because once we level up, that still puts Brynn at what? Three more contracts to go. We shouldn't hit level 14 before that. I forgot we were doing a, a pre-clear. That is entirely my bad. Whoops. Oh, well, it's fine. Mistakes happen. So let me go and head. And I'm going to need to pick up some empty purses here. So uh, drop this one. Pick up this purse right here. And let's go sell some stuff. Looks like that's always gonna be able to carry. We can sell the rest of this to another guy. We're probably gonna get these repaired and where do lose on energy and energy restoration, which is gonna be a bit of a problem. But more protection overall. What's this enchanted with black power? Uh, so we did replace her ring with some bleed resistance and maximum health. All right, y'all. Our last stop will be to talk to Mr. Guile here. We got his wine. Here's the wine that you asked for. Uh, so what goods went missing today? Let's see what he has. Well, if we judge by what he has in here, I think what we do is we go for the, the heavy war pick. We lose a little bit of stun chance, but then we gain more stagger and daze chance with less um, overall consumption of our skill cost. 50% armor penetration though. Wow, okay, let's just take it. I felt like we were a little lacking in our damage throughout that dungeon. Uh, we do have an enchanting scroll. I want to buy one and we'll use it on the sergeant's greaves, but uh, heavy war pick. Armor penetration. 55% armor penetration. All right, y'all. We're going to end today's episode right here. Uh, I was thinking about doing Varen's quest and then heading up the Manshire since we are now level 10. And uh, the troll fight will be next episode. But too tired for that <laughs> so we're just gonna end it right here uh, but as always don't forget like comment subscribe share this channel with your friends and family i'll catch y'all next time bye